Hey there, all you people out there. Um, I wanted to talk to you some more. I, uh, some of you have probably watched my video um, called Recycling and Reusing Plastic Jugs and Cardboard, or Cardboard and Plastic Jugs. Um, what I do is I take jugs, like this one, and instead of throwing them away and letting them eventually make their way to the landfill, or whatever, wherever they end up going, they I paint them up and I make tip jars for artists, musicians, um, poets, you know, people that you know perfor perform like that in that area, and I would be more than happy to accept a donation or a tip after or before or during their performance. Um, so what I do is I pretty much paint them up. I'll write, you know, tips on the side. Um, I only have one that I've actually painted up so far. Um, it was an Arizona tea jug. But um, I have about three or four more jugs. You know, ones are more like this one. That two of them are like milk jugs and two of them are the McDonald's sweet tea. Because who doesn't like McDonald's sweet tea? You don't have to like their food, but their tea is good. Um, but what I do is paint them up, I write tips, you know, I make, I might make some little funky design on the side or something like that. Um, like I said, at least I believe I said, I don't remember, I've already forgotten, it's probably less than three minutes into the video, but it's, um, the only one I have so far that I've painted up is the one in the video, recycling and reusing cardboard and plastic jugs. And what I did with it is that I painted it kind of a maroony color, and I painted the top nozzle area, like, shit, this area right here, kind of a mix of some sort of turquoise and turquoise, I mean, sorry, turquoise, tortoise, turquoise, um, kind of a turquoise color mixed with white, so it's kind of like a, I, I don't know, I just have fun with that color, but, um, But pretty much that's what I do with the jugs. And um, if you want one for your, um, if you're a poet, performing poet, um, if you're a band um, that actually can get gigs, or even if you don't, um, you can play in the park or something if you're an acoustic band and like get tips or whatever. Um, if you're like a drummer who goes into the park and plays sometime, um, kind of like I do, I go to my state park here in town. It's, at, it's about five to ten minutes eight minutes away from me so every now and then when I don't have anything I mean when I don't have anything important to do I just go up there and play when, when I can I have probably ten almost ten videos up of me playing my conga and about four or five of them are at my state park so um, you know they'll it's, there's a videos called the conga earth sessions you know they'll be the obvious ones because you know, the ones at the state park will be obvious because all you can see is trees or whatever. So, um, and probably half my leg. But, yeah, that's what I do with the jugs. I mean, if you're a drummer, like a conga drummer, if you're a street drummer, if you're a poet, if you're a painter, if you're some sort of weird, you know, out there artist that does stuff like screw, twisted, bike handles, still attached to the tricycle, like Stuart Woody, I love you, buddy. I saw that picture on Facebook. On to the side of a tub, bathtub wall, or just whatever, and you want one of these, you know, it's kind of an idea to, you know, help recycle, think green, plus, you know, it helps you out when it comes, you know, it's kind of... You know, it helps you out whenever it comes to tips and stuff, because I know when I have this, um apple juice jar. It was an organic apple juice jar, and I've shown it in a couple of videos. One of them was called um, um, Watering Jug, and I think the other one was called EL Donation Jar or something like that. I don't remember, but it was this big old jar. It was probably a little more than a gallon. I don't know. I don't remember exactly, but it was um, glass, and I spray painted it, you know, like four 
different colors, you know, I spray painted it red and blue and gray, uh, silver and silver letters on the side I uh, spray printed E L um, E period L period and um, if I can never get any gigs with Earth Limitation or you know any green festivals promoting recycling these kind of things or whatever you know if I could ever get around you know actually get something um, which would be perfect anyone want to help me out that's fine um, you know you can get a good amount of change in this because I know I've in my metal jar, jar, it's not a whole lot bigger than one of these jugs. You know, I can just barely cover the bottom of it, and plus a tiny bit extra. You know, one of these jugs. You know, I could fill up probably right about here, compared to whatever. With you know, just spare change and have about twenty bucks. So I think if you get, if you waited to, uh, you know, if you got some of the coins, you know, you could take out the dollars and go cash in the coins and probably get, you know, 40 bucks if you, most of it's coins, you know, just from the change, if not more. Because I've got like 20 bucks just from barely filling it up, putting any in there before, you know, barely it going up at all. So it's just like, I don't know, just, I think if y'all want one, um, I live in Crossville, Tennessee currently, so if you live in more than a 30 minute radius, like air, outside of like the 30 minute zone of Crossville, I'll mail it to you pretty much for free because I don't have any sales accounts or anything up, so I, it's not like I'm going to charge you anything. And pretty much like all I would charge you is like two bucks for one of these. And that's pretty much what I'm going to pay in posters to send it off. So it's like, well, that'd be pointless, you know? But if you live like in Crossville and you're a band or uh, whatever, um, and you want one, um, it'll be two bucks, because, you know, it'll, it'll just be two bucks, because of the paint and everything, and the time I drink, I took to drink the whole jug of tea and all that stuff, you know, and the paint, whatever, and me actually putting, you know, ten minutes of my time into painting it, so, um, you know, I have to well, never mind. That'd be stupid to say. That'd turn a lot of people off. But, um, yeah, if you want a jug, message me on Facebook. Like I said, Caleb with a C, not a K, and then O-T-T-I-N-G-E-R. Or make a post to me on the Earth Limitation Facebook, because I haven't had anyone post or like any of my stuff on there for a while. You know, it's always usually the same two or three people. So, go on there, you know, plus like my Earth Limitation page, because I, I promote a lot of my poetry, you know, percussion stuff, um, I update on there, and I share some of my, I share, like, actually, it's, lately I've been sharing more recycling and gardening stuff on there than poetry and drums, but it's mostly been, um, drums, gardening, and stuff like that, so just go check it out, okay, and, um, if you want one of these, message me about it. If you live, like, more than 30 minutes away from me, I'll mail it to you for free. Um, just message me about it. Message me your post office box number, whatever, you know, what's, you know, town, state, whatever. If you live in fucking Canada, then still mail it to you. Um, so just message me, like I said. Peace out.